Hey everyone, it's the Tides Changing here, and welcome to part 12 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations. So we're starting off here with Stanley taking a shower in the bathroom that Thomas riddled with booby traps in the last part. So as you can see, his hair is already a nice bright shade of blue, thanks to his dying prank. And he also washed some dishes in the kitchen um, before I started recording and of course got you know sprayed by the sink. So there's still the toilet and the sink in the bathroom that is booby trapped, and I think also some whoopee cushions on the, bleh, what was it, uh, chair and sofa. <laughs> All his chest hair is blue too. <laughs> I find it funny how he like, dyes all the body hair also. Um, I also need to clean that litter box, I keep forgetting to do that. Alright, so now he's, uh, everything's all back to the regular hair color. <laughs> So let me just, okay, looks like the bus is there for Thomas. Let me just have him scoop out the litter box. Let's just clean that. And I want to fluff hunt for some stuff. Oh, and look, it's also not snow covered anymore, which is awesome. <laughs> I don't know, I was kind of getting sick of the snow, so I think Lucille can start attending, you know, tending to our garden again also. And I think he goes to work soon, and in two days it's Love Day, and also on Love Day is also Bruce's birthday. I don't know if we're going to get to that in this part, um, that'll probably be part 13 that we get to that. But uh, Bruce is currently sleeping, so I'm going to let him sleep for a little bit longer and then wake him up and, you know, teach him some toddler stuff so we can actually pick his trait. And unfortunately it looks like the card is dormant. So hopefully those become undormant soon, you know, so we can continue tending to it. Actually, if she has some seeds in her even ooh. Look at those two. <laughs> All right, I, let me let me take a picture of this. Why why do you have that above your head? What are you trying to say? I really like her hair. I don't know, I, I kind of like her 60s look more than her 50s look. That dress was kind of driving me nuts because it was so big that her hands would get hidden in it. Oh, they have the eternally faithful reputation. Oh, 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 she's gonna sit in it. <laughs> <laughs> she looks pissed off. She's like, darn you, Thomas. I don't know, it'd be kind, of, be kind of funny to have him get caught booby trapping once, you know, so we can see, you know, the parents yell at him. It's kind of funny when that happens. Let's see, she has some... let's have her plant some pumpkins. Oh, never mind. You know, maybe we can have her read... what is she reading? You know, let's... oh, right, there... wait... oh, there's a bookshelf, duh. For some reason I thought it got taken away. Um, let's have her read... oh, she doesn't have a gardening book. Okay, never mind. Oh, something I did. I did put up the uh, pictures from da, da, da. I put up the pictures that they got from the um, winter festival, and I kind of stuck them here so it looks like they're propped up on the bookshelf. And I also put another one. This is the first one from the beginning of this LP, right there above that desk. So yeah, I just wanted to show that really quick. And she can't tend to her garden. Hmm. Maybe I'll have her go and get some seeds at some point, or I don't know. I'll see if those plants become dormant. I kind of also want I want to make sure that we actually teach him to walk and talk. Here he's, he's already potty trained, but I want to make sure we finish those so that we can actually pick a trait, because Thomas got stuck with a never new trait, which isn't a trait I really wanted for him. But let's have her, let's see, is he well rested? Why? Oh, oh, he just has a greeting card in there. I was like, why does he have a prom photo? All right, let's let's take him out of here and teach him to talk, cause that's what I started on the previous day. And when do you go to work? All right, so he works at one, so he'll be going to work soon. You know, what, I'm gonna have him call his boss. You know, try and get some schmoozing in before we go to work. So let's see. So there's her. Let's let's chat. All right, so his carpool's gonna arrive in an hour, and let's see what does she. Oh, she's taking him outside. Well, I guess that's fine, you know, because it's a nice day, but she's just- What is that? What? <laughs> oh, was that just like a, a toy toy? Oh, okay, that was just a toy from the chest. I, I thought for some reason I was like, oh, it looks kind of like a voodoo doll. 
I don't think. Are there voodoo dolls in this game? I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's see, you're meeting new friends. I don't know if you've met any friends yet, but. Oh shoot, I forgot to have him do his homework. Oh no. <laughs> I really need to get on it. Alright, so his carpool should be arriving right now. There it is. Okay, so let's. Okay. Who almost clicked out of that? And she's on the way. He's most of the way, you know, taught to talk. Oh, why is his hair like that? Oh well, that looks kind of good, I guess. I guess he cleans it up a bit for work. Alright, so she's just kind of teaching him to talk. Alright, so Bruce just learned how to talk. And let's see, uh... Ooh, let's have her go to the bathroom. I don't know why, I keep just wanting to take pictures whenever they uh, they fall for one of Thomas's pranks. It's just, it's, their reactions are so funny. Okay, let me just, let me just put the walls up. And there we go. Let's watch her go to the bathroom. <laughs> I just feel awkward just just watching her go to the bathroom. All right, hurry up. <laughs> Poor Lucille. All right, let's. You know she needs to wash her hands too. So, so let's have her do that. <laughs> oh man, Tom's is evil. Well, I made him do that, but I don't know. I I just think it'd be fun to have him be a little little prankster. Okay, she needs to take a shower after being sprayed by all that toilet water. I would not want to be sprayed by a toilet. That'd be so gross. I mean, I know you flush it down, but there's still, uh, there's some, sometimes there's still remnants left, you know. You don't want that all over you. Alright, let's, let's have her play with him. That's always really cute. And it also you know helps him helps him learn a little faster. And let me just get a picture. I don't know. I just I like taking pictures, especially of this this family. Let's get in there. There we go. Let me let me get a little lower. There we go. That's cute. I'm so glad he ended up with a red hair. I was like worried that none of their kids were gonna have that. Oh. Yes, you can go to the bistro. I know, it looks like it's a bad news ceremony. It's time for Thomas and his loved ones to celebrate the hard work and good deeds he has been doing. Enjoy the ceremony and be proud. Alright, so it looks like we have to go to a ceremony for his Boy Scouts or scouting. Pretty much Boy Scouts. Alright. What does what does Bruce need? Oh, we need to feed him and change his diaper. So let's let's have her stop that and do that. And I guess the next day we can teach him to walk because I don't know if we're gonna get to that today. Stanley and Thomas are now home. Uh, my game actually crashed and I lost the whole day, so I had to replay it. So that's why you know people are in. It's a little bit later. You know, people are in different places. Um, so Thomas is being a good boy and doing his homework, which uh, we found he's way behind on. His grades are pretty bad and. Like I said, I really want to choose his traits. Um, he does have badging ceremony um, due by Wednesday by, at 8 p.m. Um, I think we'll have him go to that tomorrow because he needs to do some homework tonight. So we'll have him go to the badging ceremony the next day. And yeah, I did I did teach him to talk again. So we're at the same place there. But I think I'm going to have her start teaching him to walk. Ooh, actually, you know what? Um... Someone said in the comments to have a cat interact with a toddler. So let me try. Let me let me have the cat sniff him. So let's have Pumpkin go and sniff Bruce. I think I've I think I've done this before. I can't remember. Um, there was a while where I just built and I didn't really actually play the game. So that's why I sometimes don't remember like all of what you can. Doing the oh, I guess he's startled by lightning, or she. 
Okay, let's sniff. Alright. There we go. And let me, let me, I'm gonna get a picture of this, because I bet it's cute. Eh, go up. Okay, there we go. Walls up. Yeah, so pretty much my game, so I was gonna have him go to the badging ceremony, and I went out to town view to click on the school, and then my game just crashed, and I was like, really? I actually liked what I recorded, so that's why I didn't re-record it like I normally do when it crashes, because, you know, I liked what I had already, and didn't want to re-try and redo it. Aww. <laughs> That is so cute! Oh, it is so cute! He's like reaching out to the cat's face! Oh! Oh, Teresa Collins would like to chat. Sure. Oh, I think she is Thomas's boss, so that's good. You know, he needs to get a better relationship with her so he can go further in his career. And, ooh, we need to have you scratch before you actually scratch something up. Scratch. And how's Fluff doing? Fluff's doing fine as far as that goes. I don't think he's about to scratch anything up. And let's have her... Okay, we'll have her eat first, and then we can have her teach him to walk. And what is Thomas... So oh, Thomas is already... Oh, it's 11. I didn't realize that. He's already sleeping. Oh, why do you always get the bad food? Alright, I'm gonna, gonna have you clean that up. And I'm gonna get out the, uh, let's, let's clean this up. Who's the, okay, those are the good waffle. Wait, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which waffles it is. I don't want to throw away the good waffles, because there's good waffles and there's bad waffles. Oh, I guess it's bedtime. Alright, so, yeah, so we'll be, we'll be teaching him to walk tomorrow, but they're all, why are you, why are you napping instead of sleeping? Alright, we need you to actually sleep. All right, there you go. Sleep. Yeah, so they're sleeping now, so I will be back in the morning. All right, so Thomas is the first one up, and I actually got the pop-up saying that his birthday is going to be in a few days, so probably in... So I think the next part will be pretty eventful because it will be Bruce's birthday, Thomas's birthday, and Love Day. So I think, I think part 13 is going to be a good one, and I should have... Lucille, yeah, I'm gonna have Thomas get up and tend to their baby because he needs to be fed. Alright, so let's feed you on the floor. And now he's gonna go off to school, so oh, he didn't clean his dishes. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, $125 bills. Let's. I just want him to meet as many other children as he can. I don't know. I like. What is that? Oh, is that one of the Nomi things? It's an interesting pose. <laughs> what are you? What, give give a name to Bucktooth Butternut. <laughs> I'm just gonna sell that because the gnomes are worth like a thousand dollars, and I don't know. I kind of I kind of want them to be able to afford that house I made sometime soon. So yeah, I'm just gonna sell it. <laughs> and I think he goes to work at one still because he hasn't been promoted yet. Hopefully he'll get promoted today, so that'll give him an give them a bit of extra money so he goes off to work in about four sim hours and what are you complaining about let's see is she up yet uh she's almost up i'll let her sleep all the way since you know she's almost there and then hopefully we can teach him to walk today since the next day will be his birthday and i don't know i'm kind of thinking about maybe having her get pregnant again soon um because I know this house is a little- why are you going back to bed? No, no, you got to work soon. Just, just go to the bathroom. But anyway, I know this house is a little bit small, but since he's gonna be aging up into a child soon, we can stick bunk beds in here and have, you know, both Thomas and Stanley share that, and then have this- I don't know, um, what do you guys think? Should I have another kid while they're in this house, or wait till they're in the slightly bigger one I can expand on a little more? I don't know, let me- let me know if you think I should have her get pregnant again while they're still in this house. So, oh, just kind of shoved his head in the wall there. You know, we need to make sure that... What is she doing? Let's sniff hand. Actually, we should have you go to the bathroom first and eat. 
Let's have her eat some grilled cheese since it's almost lunchtime. And I do it does I don't think her plants have ooh, they're not dormant anymore. That's good. I was kinda worried that they weren't going to, you know, become undormant. So let's see, can she can she tend her garden at all? Let's see. I guess, okay, I guess the plants don't need anything because the rain's watering them, but that's good that her, you know, garden isn't dormant anymore. And let's see, what are you doing? Oh, he's gonna nuzzle the dog, that's cute. Let's see, where are you going? Where's this dog? Oh, right there, I see. I think it's so cute when, when animals interact with each other. I'm just gonna take a quick pick of this. I like that dog, it's cute. Oh, okay, never mind. That that did not go well. Alright, never mind that then. Oh, wait. Okay, the other are cut away. Alright, so she is just about done with her breakfast, so I'm gonna have her teach him to walk. Cause we need to make sure that we do that. Only adults can- <laughs> oh yeah, he's at the, the police station. It was, um, before it crashed, it was the culinary business, um, but then it crashed and then it was like, oh, he's going on a field trip to the police department, so that's where he's at now. And he's power working. I guess that's fine, you know, since he's got a good relationship with everyone, so he's- I'm pretty sure he's gonna get a promotion today, which means extra money for them. And, okay, let the- <laughs> Thomas let the nice police officer out of the cell now. So Thomas is such a little troublemaker. It'll be fun, like I said, it'll be pretty fun when he's a teenager just to have him go around and, and egg all the houses in the neighborhood and leave flaming bags of poo on their doorsteps. I think that's what they do, I don't know if they call it flaming bags of poo or- They can leave flaming bags of something. <laughs> oh, that's good, he had fun. I think- ooh, he got a souvenir. I'll have to hang that up in his room. I do love all the little mementos that they get in Generations. It's just really fun to decorate the house with them. And what are you doing? Oh, I was gonna have... Oh yeah, I was gonna have Fluff hunt. Let's have him stop for prey. Let's see if we can get some. Let's see, has he been getting anything? Let's see, we have a garter snake and an empty chip bag. Okay, so he's not really getting anything that good now. Well, Lucille teaching Bruce to walk out cut short by him having to go to the bathroom. And the reason why I just kind of jumped from, you know, one scene to another is because I, I just saved really quick because, you know, I try to save frequently whenever I'm recording. So when, let's see, when is Stanley going to get home? So when Stanley gets home, I'm going to have them go to the badging ceremony, but until then, I'm going to have Thomas work on his homework. And I'll have him help get help from Lucille so, you know, he can get it done a little bit quicker and better. And let's see, what are you doing? Let's have him... Okay, so he's already on playing with the toys. I'm gonna have him play with toys so, you know, he can increase his skills a little bit. And let's see if Fluff got anything else other than that garter snake. Nope. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you dare. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna replace that and then have him scratch that. There we go, we saved the chair. And let's see, she's napping somewhere. So hopefully he can get his homework done before Stanley gets home and then they can all, you know, go to the badging ceremony so, you know, he can get his- get some mementos and all that. Oh nice! And he got a promotion and a bonus of 1,224 simoleons, so that's really helpful. So now they- now they have over 7,000 simoleons, so they're getting there towards, you know, being able to afford that house. Actually, let me see how close they really are. Let's see, so they have eight, their house is worth 18,000, and they have 7,000, so they're at about 25,000, so... Well, hopefully since he's getting promoted, you know, he'll start making more money, and they'll be able to afford a little more, and no... Alright, let's, let's have you take a shower before your little ceremony. And actually, let me, let me put up whatever it was he got from the police station. I think it was something you hang on the wall, I can't remember. Um, let's see, mounted police badge, there we go. So we'll hang that up. Let's actually, let's stick that right there. Let's stick it right over his bed. And yeah, so now Stanley's home. So as soon as he's done with taking a shower, I will have them go to the badging ceremony. 
So hopefully, um, like I said before, that's where it crashed when I went out to go to that. So hopefully it doesn't this time. Let's see. What do you... Oh, you need to take a shower too. Well, we've kind of got to go to the ceremony. So you're going to have to go there, little smelly Stanley. So let's see. Right there. Let's see. Let's... What? Are they not able to go? There we go. Okay, so attend badging ceremony. And I'm just going to kind of like stay over here at the house and I guess keep an eye on... Um... You know, actually, you know, it's there's not a whole lot happens when they go to the badging ceremony. So, you know, I'll be back once they're done with that. Ooh, actually, you know what? Here is his little... We haven't seen his uh, little scout outfit yet, so... Here it is. Let me, let me, I just want to take a picture of this really quick. Actually, let me, let me wait till he gets out. Take a picture of him in his cute little scout outfit. There we go. Alright, so yeah, now we'll be back after their badging ceremony. Alright, so the Yates family is all back at their house and back home from the badging ceremony. And the babysitter didn't really do that great of a job of taking care of the kids, so we're gonna have to change his diaper. And then feed him on the floor. And let's see, where is Thomas? And, oh, it looks like, you know, you should probably take a shower before you go to bed. You don't want to go to bed all smelly. So we'll have him take a shower and then go to bed. Since, you know, he's pretty tired. And let's see, where is Thomas? Alright, so it looks like he's almost home. And how's, how's Lucille doing? She's starting to get kind of tired. She needs to take a shower, too. You know, we'll just we'll just have him share it. <laughs> that works. Just just kill two birds with one stone. Oh come on. Oh, I guess she didn't want to do that in front of her kid or not. I don't know. Oh, let's get the because I'm sure he got something. Yeah. So let's see, scouting trophy. Let's stick that right there above his bed. So that's a nice nice little keepsake. And let's see, what are you doing? Eating a leftover cake slice, which is that bad or not? I don't know. A lot of the food that they have on their fridge goes bad as soon as they take it out. Okay, you, yeah, you're you're gonna need to eat. <laughs> All right, so he's probably gonna eat and then go to bed. And she's starting to get kind of tired too. So I think right now everyone's just kind of you know getting ready to settle in for the night. And I think this is a good place to end this part, so yeah, I'm gonna end it right here, and like I said, for the next part, we'll start off with Love Day and Bruce's birthday, and it'll also be Tom's birthday, so it'll be a pretty eventful part. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this part, thanks for watching, and bye!